Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Clicks. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel here in Studio 205. Glad to have you here. Uh, I have a couple videos in queue all lined up to hold me over until the new year and decided to film this intro and show you this one first, even though I have another one in those colors. I'm gonna hold that one because you just saw those colors and I'm really excited about this piece. Um, it's a larger canvas, 22 by 28, working my way up big, big again. It's one of my New Year's resolutions. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, yeah, let me get you down. Canvas is a 22 by 28 inch um, gallery wrap canvas. This one might be for my own house. Let's see. I'm going to put down my PPG Multi Pro. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but I went to a different Home Depot and I bought a couple gallons. I, I, <laughs> they had um, a fairly large selection and I picked out the two dustiest cans I could find <laughs> uh, and brought them home. And there is... Is this dead? There it goes. Very little bubbles, but I'm paranoid now. Just a couple. And debating if I want the same colors. I think I'm going to do one without Cuneg. So I'm going to start with my Da Vinci Payne's Gray. that because it's quite transparent and then I'm going to do my gold and then I'm going to do waterfall this little piggy I'm going to skip Hammerhead in favor of Unicorn because my house does have um, shades of green, greens and blues, so this would look pretty in my house. So I'm going to do Unicorn. Well, then now what? Do I just stop right there? Look at that giant bubble. Oh my gosh, go. Uh, or the smallest amount of the Utrex. Um, what is this? Sapphire blue. Just something for my CA to sit on. And we're going to do the black and white again. These were both tri art. So this is the carbon black. Do two spoonfuls of that and two spoonfuls. Well, it was like a heaping spoonful too of the white. And I hope that's enough for this size canvas. It's pretty big. Let's blow this out. See how my aim is.
it was all going so well until I got to like this thing. Yeah, I didn't like that black line there. Still got a little bit of it there. I want to leave it be. I'm worried that the whole thing's off balance because it's kind of blank over there. I think I'm going to leave the middle blank. Let me wipe off my finger. <laughs> uh, oh, I just knocked down a whole bunch of canvases. Yeah, it's definitely unbalanced, Karen. I'm still gonna give it a baby spin. Actually, actually, if I do this right, I can hang it horizontally, which would be even better in the spot in my house. So this one I'm like actually truly painting for me tonight for this one. And these colors are spot on for sure. So that's good. All right. having trouble finding it because there's hardly any uh, arm to grab onto. Yeah, see if I hang this horizontally, um, I think it'll be great. I don't mind it being off center too. I'm wondering if I should take a straw. To, like I would like to have one more cell. <laughs> I'm not gonna though. Um, I need a little paint. I know it's hard to get the whole thing in frame, but I need paint here and over here. So much was flying off that one side. That's why I stopped it. But let me, let me see, because then it'll pull this all down and then really be way off center. And I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this. so much fun with these big canvases too y'all um someone asked me if i was changing my consistency of my paints to get these big cells and i am not i haven't changed my consistency sustain whether it's a what is this um a 22 by 28 or an 8 by 8 it's the same I just want to stare at this. I'm not so sure I want to do anything else. I'm glad now that I didn't puff in the middle. Um, I'm looking at it to see. Oh, let me see. I know it's kind of crooked for you. So that's it. Um, kind of if I were to hang it horizontally, which I think is fairly nice. Still missing paint on this one corner. Uh and if I turn it, I think it could go in either direction. Yeah. We'll see after it dries. We'll, we'll play around with it too. I also wanted to have um, a really nice thin one. And I'm probably just going to use satin varnish and not frame it. I don't know. We'll kind of out. 
story's kind of out on framing. I want to see if I can, as I'm staring and, you know, talking to you guys, if I can get this one part here to match the other side, which is super pricky, even like even by my standards. Um, just doing my corners here where it missed. Like just bring this down a tiny bit. I'm not gonna spin very hard. We'll see how close I get. See how much paint comes off. I'm so glad I didn't use Cuneg and went with the uh, unicorn. How close am I? Not, um, no adverse consequences to my actions. I got like a half an inch. Close enough. Yep. Balanced on both sides. Great negative space. I like it like this. Just enough of, um, it's an interesting shade of like green gold. I guess that's the unicorn and the uh, iridescent gold bright having a chat with each other. Um, I did get some white cells. I don't, I didn't think I blew too hard into the house paint, but these don't even bother me. I think they're actually kind of nice. I'm usually pretty good about not blowing um, too deep. And I am gonna grab a skewer and do a skewer test because if I have to spin one more time, it won't hurt anything. Uh, I really like this one. I like the last one too, but like I said, I am um, cunegged out and just need a break from it. So I'm glad I omitted it, even though I have like an ounce and a half, an ounce and a half left. Maybe I'll do a third one. Let me see. Oh, so barely any paint left in the middle. Check aside. Same. This one is done. I am super, super thrilled with it. There is nothing I want to change or touch or move or futz with. Cheddar, double tada, triple tada. I really like it. Let me get you down. Okay, guys, I got this on my. Um drying mat on the floor and I, I just this one speaks to me every once in a while a painting will come along and it's just imperfectly perfect that's how I feel about it um I think for me I'm really loving the soft soft um blue green green color in that shade this shade of Da Vinci's Payne's Gray, I just I just find it really appealing. And um, I like the hints of the green I got in here with the unicorn mixing with the with the gold. And then you have the darker Payne's Gray. Um, I like this whole part over here. Yeah, this one between the colors and the composition, this one is a big winner for me. I hope it dries well. Cross your fingers. See you in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back with the dry results of this one. And good news and bad news. The good news is it dried great, and I still love it. I just really, really like this one. The bad news is I took it home, and my husband was like, it's nice, but there's not enough green. Although he said it in a much lower voice, like, it's nice, but there's not enough green. <laughs> and he was right. It didn't go with our new wall color. So, I mean, we could hang it in our house. He's like, go ahead and sell it. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll try to make myself another one. Um, let me get you in on my favorite bits and bobs. This is what it looks like. I'm standing back so you can see the composition 
I'm going to flip it because I think I feel like it goes the other way. Hold on. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. I like both orientations. Um, let me get you into my favorite. There's like a, a couple group of cells that just make me smile. I love, love the middle. That's great. I love these cells here. So, so nice. I love being able to see the pigments here, super pretty with the gold. And then these cells here, where are they? This are so, so cute. I don't mind the white cells and the color blending in here is just kind of fabulous. So yeah, dried super great. So happy about that. And I'm not gonna resin this. This is just gonna get varnished again. It's too big for resin. And it has too much negative space that I don't want it to yellow. So definitely a varnish and maybe a skinny floater frame. It depends because of the size. This is like a 22 by 28, something weird like that. And I'm not sure I'm gonna, you know, spend the money on a custom frame or not. So anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, it'll be up on my website at waterfallcollects.com or if you're interested and want to get it before I post it to the public, just shoot me an email at waterfallcollects at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, let me flip around. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. <laughs> Look at the camera. Hey guys, <laughs> Chloe and I are playing with perspective since she's standing on my little footstool and I look tiny and she looks gigantic. <laughs> Anyway, okay, you can get off camera if you want. <laughs> okay, no, that's pretty funny. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. We're just goofing off in the studio. Um, I just tried out, I don't know what I did with the can, the Liquitex Gloss Varnish, the spray can version. Gotta say, pretty happy with it. Way easier to use than the bottle variety, for sure. Low odor. Um, and you know, water-based UV protection, all that good stuff. So this guy is done. He is already on my website. So you can get yourself a little Christmas goodie at waterfallcooks.com. And I think this is it, uh, cause it's almost Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Boxing Day, Happy Kwanzaa. I don't know, happy toadstool day. <laughs> Whatever you celebrate, I give you uh, well wishes and happy health and all the good stuff. Uh, just a reminder, I'm going to be holding my annual New Year's Eve day live right here on my channel. I'm going to do it back in my kitchen so I can enjoy. Um, we have some really good champagne, so I'm going to have some mimosas and paint my kitchen for old time's sake. I hope you can join me. I think it's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put out little notices everywhere, but come hang out with me. I'll have a video in between that, but I just wanted to get it on your calendar. And uh, yeah, until then, I hope Santa's good to you. Peace out.